Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, children of all ages, this is Be Rich, Grandpa's Magic. This, you all know what this is. This is the case of War of the Spark. I'm going to crack that like that. But, boom, War of the Spark. Well, you guys can read that. Oh, yeah. Guess we'll just uh Yeah, this stuff was uh, quite annoying. I've never dealt with it before. My first case. I am only going to do one box for the moment. Uh then we'll do another box. More videos that way. All right, let's uh, get this box up out of here. Boom. Your uh, your phone is really in my way. Thank you. Put that there. Sorry about that. Now, originally I thought I was just going to do, you know, 12 packs at a time and just spread it all out. But the more I thought about it, the more I was like, nope, I can't wait like that. So we're just going to do a whole box at a time. Do it that way. Pack one, and just get right into it. Oh, well, let me adjust my. There we go. Turret Ogre, Ironclad Crovod, Ashiok Skulker, Honor the God Pharaoh, Shriek Diver, Ward Scale Crocodile. Bane Hound, Giant Growth, it's always a classic right there, glad they reprinted it, Topple the Statue, Callous Dismissal, that will be the commons for the back, uh, Paradise Druid, not too shabby of a pool, Elite Guard Mage, that's the first one I've pulled of those, two a white and a blue for a 2-3 human wizard, with flying, when it enters the battlefield, you gain three life and draw a card. Not too bad. Ingrath, Captain of Chaos. Uh, he's a uh, four drop, five loyalty creatures you have, menace, uh, and then you can down take to a mass two. Fibble Thip, the Lost. <laughs> that is the second Fibble Thip that I have pulled, which uh, isn't too bad, I guess. Fibble Thip. Fibble Thip. Alright. Yeah, weird enough to do something. Next, we got Naga Eternal. Raging Crunch. Crunch, 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 crunch. Real life. Yeah. It was a Facebook ad. And that was, it's so annoying. It's That's what it does. It's this one right here, too. It's this. Raging crunch, and it just goes crunch, 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 crunch across your screen. It's like so annoying. It's like wizards, come on. Yeah, that's a little much. Yeah. Battlefield promotion. Hmm. Tithe Bear Giant. Uh, New Horizons. It's actually not too bad. Uh, Erratic Visionary. Enforcer Griffin, Lazatep Reaver, Demolish, Law Rune Enforcer will be the commons. Eternal Skylord. What? You need boxes. You need boxes. Yeah, that way you can have a sword in it. Like, cracker. That's why. 
Maybe, I, yeah, maybe I'll go sort of like this. Commons, uncommons, and rares. Uh, and for that, I, I do sort it. So the turn of Skylord. Uh, enters the battlefield, you have a mass two. And zombie tokens you control have flying. Costs four and a blue, and he's a three, three. Not too bad, I guess. Emergent zone. Uh, it's land that taps for colorless, or you can pay one, tap, sacrifice emergent zone. You may cast spells this turn as though they had flash. That's always a beautiful thing. The Wanderer, yes, absolute must have a Maldrath because Maldratha. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Wanderer, three and a white for a legendary planeswalker. Prevent all non combat damage that would be dealt to you and other permanents you control. Minus two, exile target creature with power four or greater. Nizium Tank. I like this card a lot. Uh, one and two red for a three two vehicle with trample. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, Mizium Tank becomes an artifact creature and gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Sure. And it only costs one to crew him. Oof. But you're not going to worry about that crew cost. You like that. Basically, you're turning him into a creature and prowess. All in... A fell swoop, and every time you cast a nine creature, he's just going to keep getting bigger, like prowess. Mm -hmm. so he's a vehicle with prowess. Without prowess, the mechanic, the the, the actual term. Without the keyword. Yeah, no keyword. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Seriously, dude. Come on. People trying to record and shit. Light outside the house. Yeah. Recording. Recording. Not that anybody would listen. Yeah. Nobody pay no attention. Ashiox Skulker. Honor the God Pharaoh. Rising Populace. Shriek Diver. Ward Scale Crocodile. He's just a five drop with five three hex proof. Enforcer Griffin. Uh, Jaya's Greeting. One and a red for an instant. Jaya's Greeting deals three damage to target creature. Scry one. I like it. It costs one more than Lightning Bolt, but you're getting a scry out of it, which I feel is... I would run this over Lightning Bolt any day, all day. Just, oh, well, I just don't hit any target. They don't hit the creature. It's True. Still, it's got a value. True. You're right. It does hit only a creature. Uh, but I like the flavor text. This is why I stopped here. We have visitors. Well, it'd be rude not to give them a traditional Carol Keep welcome. Just, it's so it. jaya. Love it. <laughs> Unlikely aid. Yes. I love. <laughs> I love this because the artwork and the flavor text. He's a one and a black for an instant. Target creature gets plus two, plus zero, and gains indestructible until end of turn. Not bad in itself. The artwork is Gideon riding Rakdos, Lord of Riots. Yes. And the flavor text is, no one will ever ride me again, Gideon. Expect no further flavors. Rakdos. <laughs> 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 you, I want to be a fly on the wall to see that. Yeah. That's <laughs> well, well, you know what happened in the story, right? So Gideon uh, gets on, there's a Pegasus in the set, he gets on this Pegasus uh, and goes to fly towards Nicol Bolas and Oketra <laughs> shoots the Pegasus out of the sky Gideon goes falling. Rakdos comes out of nowhere, scoops him up, and saves his day. Yes. Poof. <laughs> I was like, that's so un Rakdos, though. I was like, that's kind of weird. Mm, yeah, it is very un Rakdos. But he's up against. I would have figured Rakdos would have been on. 
Bolas' side, honestly. He's in Bolas' colors. Mm-hmm. However, uh, next is Avon Eternal. Uh, not too bad. Zombie with flying. Mass one. Uh, Sarkon's C- Catharsis. Uh, it's really high costed. Five damage to a player or planeswalker for five. Mm. Meh. So the uncommons, we got Bleeding Edge, one and two black for a sorcery. Up to one target creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. Then a mass two. It's the first one I've pulled one of those. That would have been nice if I'd pulled that last night. <laughs> that would helped out so much. Yeah. Tyrant Scorn, black, blue for an instant uh, choose one. Destroy target creature with converted mana cost 3 or less, or return target creature to its owner's hand. Not shabby. Not too bad. Not shabby at all. I like it. Nahiri, Storm of Stone, 2 and Boros Boros for 6 loyalty. As long as it's your turn, creatures you control have first strike, and equipped abilities you activate cost 1 less to activate. That is very helpful. Mm-hmm. So helpful. How much does it cost to uh, equip uh, Skull Clamp? Nothing now. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, they just broke Skull Clamp even more. Yeah. Stupid wizards. <laughs> uh, Dreadhorde Butcher. Black, red for a 1 1 zombie warrior with haste whenever it deals combat damage to a player. Or Planeswalker, put a 1 1 counter on Dreadhorde Butcher. When it, or Dreadhorde Butcher dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any target, which is pretty nice. It helped me win the game last night. And the games that I won this, it was this guy, Angrath, and my zombie army token. Those were what won me the games that I won. <laughs> Next, we got Naga Eternal. Raging Crunch. Crunch, 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 crunch. crunch. Battlefield Promotion. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing now. We have to, I have to do it. Sky Theater Strix. That's not too bad. Hmm. Uh, Primordial Worm. I think it's so weird, weird that they keep reprinting that thing, man. Nobody wants that. Kaya's Ghost Form. I was just talking about this card. Mm. Perfection. It's it's common. It's one drop. The enchanted creature finds walk control. When it dies or is put into exile, return the card to the battlefield under your control. That is beautiful. It's so beautiful. Uh, Thundering Ceratok. Meh. Nahiri's Stone Blades. Tamayo's Epiphany. Three and a blue for a sorcery. Scry four, then draw two cards. That's pretty nice. I like the scry four. <laughs> yeah. Bane hound. It's one black for a nightmare hound. One one life link and haste. Haste is really out of mono black's pie wheel. I thought. A few. There are. Very many. Yeah, not many. Uh, Prison Realm. Ooh, I like this. This is the Uncommons. Story-wise, uh, <laughs> you know how Nicobolus has that little gem in between his horns? Mm-hmm. Well, Ugin figures that that's like a key piece of shutting dipshit down. Bolus. He then exiles uh, Bolus to Bolus's own meditation realm. And traps him there. Oh, but I, I believe that he traps him and him. Like he, Ugin traps both of them there. I think. I think. I'm pretty sure that's. I know that Bolus is there. I'm unsure if Ugin had to be there or not. There's, there's literally no way to find the actual story, except for the three cards and there's a there's a book, but it doesn't actually like tell you. It's weird. Uh, two and a white for an enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, exile target creature, planeswalker, and opponent controls until prison realm leaves the battlefield. When prison realm enters the battlefield, scry one. Guess what deck this is going in? Stargo. 
Yes. God Pharaoh's Statue. It's a six drop for a legendary artifact. Spells your opponent's cast cost two more to cast. Oof. That's pretty nifty. Then, at the beginning of your instep, each opponent loses one life. That's pretty nifty, too. I like it. Fancy. Sahili Sublime Artificer. One and hybrid. Uh, uh, is, it, is it? It is. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm like, I don't want to have to say it, but I had to. Uh, five loyalty. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a 1-1 one, one colorless servo artifact creature token. Down tick by two to turn target artifact you control becomes a copy of another target artifact or creature you control until in the turn, except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. This is actually very decent. It's going to see play in Legacy. People in Modern, I think, are going to try to dabble with it, and it's either going to... They're going to either find something with some niche backwoods cards that are in modern that nobody, that everybody forgot about, and break it, or it's going to flop. That's it's. But legacy, it's going to be strong in legacy, strong, yeah. and say strong. I think it's very strong in uh, uh, any. Any non-creature based uh, EDH deck in those colors. So the rare is Awakening of Vitugazi, three and two green for an instant. That really is very good. Yeah. I would like to see it being broken very easily. <laughs> three and two green for an instant. Put nine plus one plus one counters on target land you control. It becomes a legendary. Zero zero elemental creature token creature with haste named Vitugazi. It's still a land. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alrighty then. Blow up the board fine and smack you with my tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, keep it off camera though. It's fine. I mean it's fine enough. I mean, it's 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 good and fine that they know that it, you know that I do it and whatnot, but yummy. Yeah. Next pack is Naga Eternal for to start us off. Yeah. Raging crunch, 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 crunch. That's the way the last pack started. Yeah, I know. Word scale crocodile. <laughs> Dust mantle operative. Uh, the two drop human rogue can't be blocked by creatures with power four or greater. Two, two. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, Thunder Drake. Oof. Three and a blue for a 2-3 flyer. Uh, whenever you cast your second spell each turn, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Thunder Drake. I kind of figured it would have a counter ability. It's not too bad. Sarkon's Catharsis. Yeah. It's, uh, it's hard to say, and it's mediocre. Vraska's finisher, uh, it's not too bad. Two and a black for a 3-2 Gorgon Assassin. When Vraska's finisher enters the battlefield, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls that was dealt damage this turn. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> there's, yeah, this, there's a lot of things that I feel that you can do. <clears throat> Sahili Silverwing. I'm, I'm unsure about this. I definitely want to do something with it. Sahili Silverwing is a 4-drop artifact creature Drake, 2-3 with flying. Whenever Sahili Silverwing enters the battlefield, look at the top card of a target opponent's library. Hmm. Yeah. It's like, hmm. Bloom <laughs> Uh, three and a green for a four-four plant elemental. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, proliferate. Mm, 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 mm. An ETB proliferate, huh? Oh, uh, you you should see uh, evolution sage. Evolution sage is a 
uh, a green creature that says whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, proliferate. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a foil one. She cracked one. A foil. Nice. Yeah, I love it. <coughs> Excuse me. Charm strays. Huh? All this one one counter stuff and proliferate might go in my drevy. Mm. Rouse Outburst. Two blue red for an instant deals three damage to any target. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put one into your hand and the other into your graveyard. <coughs> Not too bad. <coughs> Challenger Troll. Four hmm. and a green. For a 6-5 troll, each creature you control with power of four or greater can't be blocked by more than one creature. You control. Yeah. It would have been funny if you said it like that. Yeah. Each creature you control. Control. Yeah, control. Ah, uh, see yourself out. Look. <laughs> Teo, the shield mage, two and a white for a five loyalty planeswalker you have hex proof hmm. minus two create a zero three white wall creature with defender it's not bad. it's kind of like a true believer with a little bit of a <gasps> oh, spark double that's what i'm talking about yeah three and a blue for an illusion nice you may have Spark Double enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature or planeswalker you control, except it enters the, with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it if it's a creature. It enters with an additional loyalty counter on it if it's a planeswalker, and it isn't legendary if that permanent is legendary. That is amazing! Yes. It is going. This is one of the best clones of all time. Yes, it really is. I have one on the way because I accidentally ordered it. Ah! Accidentally ordered it. Oh, it's well. good though. It is good. I'll have one. A lot of people are like, it's restrictive because it's something you control. And I'm like, you can clone your planeswalker and it's not legendary. Fuck clone, off with that shit. You can clone your legendary creature that's not legendary. Yeah. That you really like, there is so much good. There's so much good no, stuff with no. this. Absolutely good. You can you can get an ETB trigger out of a clone if you clone something of yours that's legendary, but, but yeah, it's restrictive exactly. to a creature and it's got to go. Yeah. So, I mean, it's really a good card. It really is. Next pack. Smut Sprint will start us off. War Screecher. Teferi's Time Twist. Uh, yeah, say that one three times fast. Teferi's Time Twist. I twisted some time that Teferi gave me. Uh, it's actually not too bad. It's a one and a blue for an instant. Exile target permanent you control. Return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next instep. If it enters the battlefield as a creature, it enters with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. It's not bad. Saves your creature. And, and it'll enter with a counter on it. Next is Soren's Thirst. I tried to run this in last night, midnight pre-release. That's a reprint, I'm pretty sure. Came out in this draw. Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's a black, black for an instant. Deals two damage to target creature, and you gain two life. I had the damnedest time trying to come up with two black mana. <laughs> it was so bad. When I had it, it was when I had it in my hand. I wasn't getting the black mana like that. <laughs> it was hard to splash a third color in those pre-release things because your pool so small. Well, that's the thing. I I was going... At first, I went mainly white, black, and splash red. Uh, and then I changed and took the white out and went more red. But black was a constant factor. That's why I was like, where's all my swamps at? It didn't make any sense. So. Crawl Stinger. Two and a green for a two-two death touch. It's an insect assassin. <laughs> <laughs> T 
Tomeo's Epiphany. Skeeters with West Nile. <laughs> yeah. Banehound. Trusted Pegasus. This is the Pegasus. Uh, now, one of the angels in Ravnica, I want to say Aurelia, I could be wrong, is the one that gave him the Pegasus. And he was like, hey, what's its name? And she's like, it's uh, Gideon's Promise or something. She she had named it. Or Gideon's something. It was Gideon's something. I can't remember exactly what it was. But, yeah, this, this is the one that gets shot down. <laughs> Bye, Ketra. So I have to do that in game against somebody. Yeah. Flavor. I have to somehow uh, give Oketra flying or reach. I feel like a potato. You feel like a potato. Well, you look like one, too. Hey. Hey. Potato face. Now, this card, I was I was kind of disappointed. I saw a card. I was like, it's called Band Together. I'm like, oh, banding? No, no such luck. Damn it. <laughs> two and a green for an instant. Up to two target creatures you control. Each deal damage equal to their power to another target creature. Which is not bad. It's like, I get to have my two creatures rabid bite your dude. What is that called? Yeah. Two and a green. Instant. Not bad. No, not bad. Cyclops Electromancer. Uh, four and a red for a 4-2 Cyclops Wizard. When it enters the battlefield, it deals X damage to target creature and opponent controls, where X is the number of instants and sorcery cards in your graveyard. Too bad. Dread Horde Twins. Three and a red for a 2 2 zombie jackal warrior. When it enters the battlefield, a mass two. Zombie token creatures. The zombie tokens you control have to bleh, have trample. God, why can I not talk? There we go. Another Ashiok Dream Render. She is really good. I actually won one of my games with Ashiok. I milled somebody out with hey. it. Uh, one and hybrid Demir Demir. Five loyalty. Spells and opponents your uh, spells and abilities your opponents control can't cause their controller to search their library. So my opponents can't search the library anymore. Oh, that's mm -hmm. That shuts off a lot of things, especially in EDH. Yeah. Uh, down tick, minus one. Target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. Then exile each opponent's graveyard. That is so strong. <laughs> in EDH, fuck yeah. It's, Much, I can, anywhere. I, I actually plan on running this in Maldrata because I can mill myself. Then exile all your graveyards. Mill myself. Exile all your graveyards again. Mill you. Exile them all. Yeah, it, it's driving me nuts. And I just down tick, down tick, down tick, down tick. Keep doing that five times. Boom. She is in my graveyard. Boom. I play her back out with Maldrotha. Games just keep keep on going. Mobilize district. Blah. Uh, it's a rare land, and there's undep. Uh, you can tap it for colorless mana. You pay four, uh, and mobilized district becomes a 3-3 three, three citizen creature with vigilance until end of turn. It's still a land. This ability costs one less to activate for each legendary creature and planeswalker you control. So I guess it's not too bad if you get four planeswalkers out there or uh, uh, a legendary and, and it's pretty easy and you just game. like for free you turn your land into a dude I can see being more important if it was just if you're playing more all planeswalkers yeah like oh you're gonna swing at that one huh uh, I'm just gonna make this a dude and block Oh, we got foil topple the statue. That's actually our second foil topple the statue. It's not a bad card. No, 
Two and white for an instant. Tap target permanent. If it's an artifact, destroy it and draw a card. So it replaces itself. Not too bad. I like it. Yeah, I caught my eye. I feel like it would have came in handy. If I would have been at least. I never... I, I, I didn't get to destroy any artifacts, but I did tap quite a few creatures... Uh, Martyr for the Cause. We'll start us off with this one. Contentious Plan. I like that, actually. Contentious Plan is one and a blue for a sorcery. Proliferate and draw a card. Simple. Okay. Bl blind Blast. Two and a red for an instant. Deals one damage to target creature. That creature can't block this turn. Draw a card. There are a lot of cards that replace themselves, as said I noticed. It, that's a beautiful thing. And oh, yeah. all the colors needed it. Yeah. They really did. Battlefield promotion. Kaya's ghost form. New horizons. Gateway Plaza. Tomorrow's Epiphany. Trusted Pegasus. Banehound. Leyline Prowler, Price of Betrayal, this is really good, one drop, black, sorcery, remove up to five counters from target artifact, creature, planeswalker, or opponent. Experience counters, energy counters. Yeah, yeah, somebody's to fairy. Yep. Planeswalker. Yeah. Engrath, Ca Captain of Chaos. Two and Rectors, Rectors for stuff. Ooh! Oh, yeah. Massacre Girl. Yes. Legendary creature with no name, just Massacre Girl. Three and two black. Four or four, four. Human Assassin with Menace. That in itself is just very nice. But when she enters the battlefield, each other creature. Gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. Whenever a creature dies this turn, each creature other than Massacre Girl gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. Now it's all in the same box text. So it only happens when she ETBs. That's it. Yeah. But say, you there's know, a battlefield, the, kills a one, all, bunch of one Yeah, one. kills all the one ones. It just literally yep. <laughs> killed the whole board. Yes. Yes. Very nasty. And she's legendary. I love it. How much does it cost? Uh, three and two black. So, five. And right. she's four, four, menace. So, it's not, it's not too hateful. I might want one. I might have zombies like that. Yeah? They just because they like to die and come back and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kamina's. That's actually pretty good. That'd be a fun commander. Kamina's transmutation. We'll start us off. Uh, that's actually I like it. Uh, one in a blue enchantment aura, enchant creature, enchanted creature loses all abilities and has base power, power and toughness one one. Ooh. What I like the most about this. Is the artwork? It looks like if you turn Thanos into a frog. Dead serious. Tell me that's not Thanos frog. <laughs> that is a Thanos frog. That is definitely a Thanos frog. Oh man, they got uh, <coughs> they got in game playing at the drive-in. Me and Sarah are going to see it tomorrow. Oh yeah. Yeah. Where? Uh, the one that we go to whenever we go to see movies, the one, the place that has the fucking meals and shit. Yeah. Um, next is Samut Sprint. War Screecher. Steady Aim. Charity Extractor. Jaya's Greeting. Unlikely Aid. 
even eternal Sarkon's catharsis. Sarkon. Uh, Bloom Hulk. Augur of Bullis. Burfolk Wizard. Mm. What? You know what Augur of Bullis yeah. is. Mm. Okay. Uh, Storm the Citadel. That's not too bad. Bond of Revival. Oh, oh. Oh, who, who do we got? Oh, woo, we got Jace Wheeler, Mr. Reason. Nice. One blue, blue, blue for four loyalty. Static ability of if you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. Mm. Uptick. Target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Draw a card. Minus eight. Draw seven cards. Then, if your library has no cards in it, you win the game. Interesting. Yes. He's just mill yourself out. I win. That's a more draw. Okay. You very much. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I can so fill that good, though. I've actually, uh, have that's what I do with my mall draw and more than anything is more self mill. Uh, start us off with Goblin Assailant, Makeshift Battalion, Kazmina's Transmutation, Simulate Sprint, Kaya's Ghost Form, New Horizons, Tight Bear Giant, Thundering Ceratok. Tamayo's Epiphany, Nahiri's Stone Blades. You cards, please just stop sliding. Bond of Discipline, Gleaming Overseer. Uh, Gleaming Overseer is one blue black for a zombie wizard. When it's a one four, when it enters the battlefield, a mass one. Zombie tokens you control have hexproof and menace. I wish I'd pulled that last night. That'd have been so much, so much easier. Uh, Samut, Tyrant, Smasher, 2, and Gruel Gruel. For 5 loyalty creatures you control have haste, down, tick. Target creature you control gets plus 2, plus 1, and gains haste until end of turn. Scry 1. Uh, finale of Eternity. There's the black one. X Black Black for a sorcery. Destroy up to three target creatures with toughness, X or less. If X is ten or more, return all creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Yes, I like it a lot. Oh, no. oh maybe. Uh, I was. Yeah, I, was, I mean, if I went with my mono black, that would help my mono black card. That's my main thing. I don't have enough model bikes, so. I could see me running it in uh, my Queen Marchesa more, honestly. It just uh, seems to... that That's where I feel that it would fit the most at in the decks that I currently have. Next, we've got Honor the God Pharaoh. Rising Populous. Stealth Mission. Vivian's Grizzly. Spark Reaper. Mana Geode. Pollen Bright Druid. Davriel's Shadow Fugue. Thunder Drake. Sarkon's Catharsis. I hate that card. Already, I hate it. Bond of Discipline. Uh, four and a white for a sorcery. Tap all creatures your opponents control. Creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. Mm. Bond of Insight. Three and a blue. Sorcery. Each player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. Return up to two instant and or sorcery cards from your graveyard to your hand. Exile Bond of Insight. Arland, Voice of the Pack. 
four and two green for seven loyalty. Each creature you control that's a wolf or werewolf enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. Minus two, create a two two green wolf creature token. <sighs> yeah! Karn's Bastion! This is the one land that I was really, really, really hoping to get. Multiples of. So, one down. A lot more to go. Mm -hmm. It is a non-basic land that enters untapped. You can tap it to add colorless to your mana pool. Or, you can pay four, tap, proliferate. On a land. Very strong. I like it. Yeah. It's Contagion Clasp on a land. Minus the minus one encounters. Mm -hmm. Very fair. Very doable. That's cool. Yeah, I like it. Next pack. On Crop Invader. War Screecher. Ashiok Skulker. <laughs> Aid the Fallen. <coughs> Steady Aim, Enforcer Griffin, Lazatep Reaver, Demolish, Law Rune Enforcer, Defiant Strike, Paradise Druid, Neoform, this is a good one, Green Blue, for Sorcery, as an additional cost to cast this spell, Sacrifice a Creature, Search Your Library for a Creature Card, with converted mana cost equal to one plus the sacrifice creature's converted mana cost. Put that card onto the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. Then shuffle your library. Nice. Yeah. Nahiri, Storm of Stone again. Black Living Twister. This isn't too bad. I pulled one. Uh, definitely want to put it in Omnath. For sure. Red, red, and green. Three drop for a two five elemental. Pay one and a red, discard a land card. Living Twister deals two damage to any target. Pay a green, turn a tap land you control to its owner's hand. It's just so good. <laughs> yeah. So good. Ah. Yeah. We're almost there. We're, well, we're, we're almost there as far as. We're almost a third of the way done with this one box. Uh, turret Ogre, three and a red for a 4 3 Ogre reach when it enters the battlefield. If you control another creature with power four or greater, Turret Ogre deals two damage to each opponent. It's not too bad. Ironclad Crovod, Aid the Fallen. Steady Aim, Law Rune Enforcer, Burning Prophet, Relentless Advance, Centaur Nurturer, Demolish, Lazatep Reaver, Death Sprout. This is pretty good. I like this. One Black Black Green Instant. Destroy Target Creature. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it on the battlefield tab, then shuffle your library. Yeah. Not too sure. Uh, Gideon's Triumph. One and a white for an instant. Target opponent sacrificed a creature that attacked or blocked this turn. If you control a Gideon Planeswalker, that player sacrifices two of those creatures instead. Oh. It's not too bad. Obnixilus, the Hate Twisted. Three and two black for a five loyalty Planeswalker. Whenever an opponent draws a card... Obnixilus the Hate Twisted deals one damage to that player. Hello, Nekizar. Minus two, destroy target creature. Its controller draws two cards. Not too bad. Oath of Kaya. One white and a black for legendary enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, it deals three damage to any target, and you gain three life. Whenever an opponent attacks a Planeswalker you control with one or more creatures, Oath of Kai deals two damage to that player, and you gain two life. Not too bad. Not too bad. 
Man, my feet are freaking killing me. Oh, hey, who is that? You wouldn't understand it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, Tara? Did you sneeze your foot? What's <laughs> up? <laughs> oh, what's up there? I don't know if you're still watching. Nope, guess not. I missed it. Oh, well. What I get for not paying attention. <laughs> Goodness. Gotcha. <laughs> Kazmina's transmutation. Goblin assault team. Uh, three and a red for a four one with haste. When goblin assault team dies, put a one one counter on target creature you patrol. And he's a goblin warrior. Huh. That's not too bad. Ironclad Crovod. Blip. That is literally the boring, the most boring card in the set, I think. Three and a white for a two five beast. Literally super vanilla. <laughs> uh, Spellkeeper Weird Two and a yeah. blue For a weird One four Yeah there's two weirds One's blue and one's red I got a pool of this On the arena Oh yeah uh, Pay two tap Sacrifice it Return target instant or sorcery card From your graveyard to your hand Toll of the invasion Two and a black for a sorcery Target opponent reveals their hand you choose a non-land card from it. That player discards that card. A mass one. Crunch Wrangler. Crunch. 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 Wrangler. Yes, it's not the it's not the other one, so we only get one crunch. Callus dismissal. I wish I could dismiss my calluses. <laughs> <laughs> a boreal grazer. This is actually I like this. He's a one drop green. For a 0-3 beast with reach. When a boreal grazer enters the battlefield, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. Nice. Yeah. I I can definitely see that being abused in a few decks. Land matter decks. Divine Arrow. Thundering Saratok. Pledge of Unity. One green white for an instant. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. You gain one life for each creature you control. Hmm. Not too bad. I like it. Emergence zone. It's the land that you can sack to cast at flash. Sweet. To bolt rakish instigator. Two and a red for five loyalty. Your opponents can't gain life. Hmm. Minus two. Create a 1-1 one, one red devil creature token with when this creature dies, it deals 1 damage to any target. Yeah. This bolt's actually pretty decent. Tomic, Distinguished Advocate. 2 white for a 2-3 flying. Lands on the battlefield and land cards in graveyards. Can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. Your opponents can't play land cards from graveyards. We was just talking about Baldrapha. Yeah, I say, yeah, get wrong. It really hurts. Get wrong. Really bad. Huh. Uh, also hurts uh, Lord Wingrace. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's definitely a hoser. Uh, Cures Dam Breaker. Five and a blue for a five six Seven. Leviathan. When it enters the battlefield, proliferate. Eight. Just six. So. Oh, what's the name of it? Kiora's Dam Breaker. Nice. Chain Whip Cyclops. Teo's Light Shield. Crawl Stinger. Vampire Opportunist. 
<laughs> Even Eternal, Burning Prophet, Obnixilis' Cruelty, J.S. Greeting, Totally Lost. Now that's a reprint. Hey. The, it's new artwork, though, in the reprint. It's the first time they've got new artwork for it. Every other time it's been a close up of him in that crowd. Uh, Merfolk Skydiver, uh, Green Blue, two drop for 1 1. Merfolk Mutant with flying. When Merfolk Skydiver enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Pay three, Green Blue, proliferate. Okay. <laughs> I was at the shop and I had Grand Architect and Pillar Pala right there. Mm -hmm. And I, I was over like a couple of bucks and I was mm -hmm. like, man, they're the only ones that just really don't. Uh, they were on a whim. Nah. I don't I'm, just to have it. Mm -hmm. Eternal Taskmaster, one of the black for a 2 3 zombie. It enters the battlefield tapped. When e whenever Eternal Taskmaster attacks, you may pay two and a black. If you do, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Kiora Behemoth Beckoner. Oh yeah. This 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 is one of those ones, the uncommon ones that I want to pull multiple, multiple, multiples and run them every deck that runs has those colors. Mm. It's two and hybrid green blue. For seven loyalty. Three drop for seven loyalty. Really nice. Static ability, whenever your creature you control, or whenever a creature with power 4 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. That's okay in itself. The down tick, though, minus 1. Untap. Target. Permanent. Very strong. I need that. <laughs> I need multiples of them. <laughs> uh, single combat. Three and two white for sorcery. Each player chooses a creature or planeswalker they control, then sacrifices the rest. Players can't cast creature or planeswalker spells until the end of your next turn. That's nutty. Hmm. Just a little bit. Oh. Torched. Oh, rest my feet for a second. Oh, this is going to take fucking forever. <laughs> Why did I do it? Why did you, you? You talked me into it. I'm blaming you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, start us off with Crush Descent. Sorry about that. I needed to drink and rest my feet for a second. Invading Manicore. Uh, Gideon Sacrifice. Charity Extractor. Crunch Wrangler. Spellgorger Weird. Uh, there's the red one. Two and a red for a 2-2 two -two Weird. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Spellgorger Weird. You should have known Spellgorger. It was going to do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> prowess, prowess. Well, no, 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 no. That's like Mana Gorger Hydra. Uh -huh. Or the, is that the, the one that whenever, you know, your other people cast spells, put one on it. It's kind of like that. Uh, a Boreal Grazer. Uh, Herald of the Dread Horde. Prismite. The two drop, two one golem, pay two, add one color of any mana color. Like mm -hmm. you pay two colorless or two of any color to add one of a specific color. Oh, it's just another filter for uh, yeah. Mistress workshop. Shit. Evolution Sage, two and a green for a three two elf druid. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, proliferate. Mm. Yeah, it's elf, it's druid, three drops, fair. Gideon's Triumph, Narset, Parter of Veils, 
one and two blue for five loyalty. Each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. Minus two. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them. Put it in your hand. Put the rest at the bottom of your library in a random order. Finale of Promise. That is a whole lot of text. You all know what it does by now. Ooh, a foil land. Foil planes. Ooh, that is pretty. Let you guys get a... Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm, pretty fun, huh? You could do. Next pack. What happened? Oh, here's my lighter. Uh, is yours white too? Maybe. I don't remember which one I bought. Oh, God, don't tell me that. Well, you, if we find it, yours definitely has more flow. Mine was better. Oh, oh, yeah, you got it, don't you? Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. I did not. I, and you know, I almost. I almost asked if I could borrow it to go back and forth to the fucking thing last night. I was like, I'm gonna ran you there. Well, Sarah ran me there, but it was trying to get a ride back at five in the morning. But I was Davis, Chris Davis. And he uh, he gave me a ride. Nice. <coughs> Start us off with uh, Taylor's light shield. Then no escape. Uh, two and a blue for an instant counter charge creature or planeswalker spell. If that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it in its graveyard. Then scry, scry one. one. That's beautiful. Yeah, it is very nice. I it's like restrictive it. as far as creature or planeswalker, but it's still very good. Yeah. It doesn't have the usual two blue. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Restricted. it's still I say it's still a three drop counter spell, which is fine and dandy, but it's two and a blue. Yeah. Which is better. Makes a difference. Turret Ogre. Ironclad Crobat. Spark Reaper. Courage in Crisis. Giant Growth. Topple the statue. Callous Dismissal. Gateway Plaza. Tabolt's Rager. Rescuer Sphinx. Uh, that's two and two blue for a three two flyer. When it enters the battlefield, you may return a non land permanent you control to its owner's hand. If you do, Rescuer Sphinx enters the battlefield with a one one counter on it. Arla, Arlen, the voice of the pack, and Oath of Kaya again. Me. I might have to hit you up for some of this uh, black white legendary stuff. Yeah, I, I kind of figured. I've got the glorious uh, rebirth or whatever. Yeah. It brings all my legendaries back. Yeah, I, I kind of figured I'd have a, I have a, quite a few pieces I know that are you just you're going to want whether you know it or not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, she's back. It's maybe she is still watching. It doesn't show that anybody's watching, though. That's weird. It and it didn't even show. That's weird. Oh well. Uh, Aid the fallen. Sahili Silverwing. Obnixilis's cruelty. Totally lost. Wall Rune Enforcer. Burning Prophet. Oops. Relentless Advance. Uh, D Spark. This is the first one of these I've pulled. Black and a white for an instant. Exile target permanent with converted mana cost four or greater. Hmm. Strong. So good. 
so good. I like Nisa's Triumph Two Green, which is green, green. Sorcery. Search your library for up to two basic forest cards. If you control Nisa Planeswalker, instead search your library for up to three land cards. Reveal those cards, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. So it goes from two basic forests to three of anything. Mm hmm. You know what you should do? Nisa. You've cracked all of these boxes. Nisa Tribal? <laughs> that too. After you've cracked all these boxes, build a War of the Spark Commander deck using nothing but War of the Spark cards. Oh, yeah. I, well, I don't know if that... You have enough rares. Um, so, we had D-Spark as an uncommon. Nisa's Triumph, uncommon. Invade the City, uncommon. You know what that means? That means we have a rare or mythic planeswalker. There you go. Invade the city is one blue red for a sorcery. A mass X, where X is the number of instants and sorcery cards in your graveyard. That's definitely going. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't usually deal with creatures. <laughs> but if I'm gonna sit there and make a creature. Might as well make it a 2020 creature, right? <laughs> Real life. <laughs> yeah. That'd be the way to go. And Chandra Fire Artisan. Two and two red for four loyalty. Static ability is whenever one or more loyalty counters are removed from Chandra Fire Artisan, she deals that much damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Whew. Plus one. Exile the top card of your library. You may play it this turn. Fair wording. Minus seven. Exile the top seven cards of your library. You may play them this turn. Spark somebody for seven for free and then have seven extra cards to use. Yeah. I just feel that she's very lackluster. We've seen way more powerful Chandra's. Absolutely. <coughs> Absolutely. And now it's like... <coughs> and, what and does she come in with? Four? And you uptick her by one? Mm. Yeah, that is. That's why I'm like... It's, it could have been <coughs> so much better. So much better. And in the story wise, she's the one that blows up. She basically blows up the uh, the immortal sun, which Nicol Bolas had gotten from Ixalan and brought it to Ravnica. Right. And then Chandra blowed up. Yeah, Chandra blows it up. Nice. She's OP. And that's why I'm like, for that in the story, and then to. See this card? I was like, and I can't be the only one that was severely disappointed. Yeah, I'm disappointed that Chandra. She's still good. Yeah, I'm not, not saying bad. she's bad. Yes, <coughs> four drop Chandra. That's not too shabby for a four drop Chandra. A lot of good ones have been five drops. That's what I said. She's not bad right. at all. She just could have and should have been a lot better. They're trying to get rid of red deck lines. That'll never happen, though. I can't get a cigarette. Yeah, I don't have any more cigarettes. That was the last one I'm going to have to start rolling mine. I got those, too. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. What's that? Bulwark giant counter it. With your face? Crush descent. It's green and blue. 
instant counter to spell unless it's controller pays two, but you get to amass two. You pay the two, you're still amassing two. So. <coughs> uh, invading Manicor, <coughs> Gideon's Sacrifice, Courage in Crisis, Shriek Diver. I have to start putting this down on another. Bane Hound, Trusted Pegasus, Band Together, Spell Gorger Weird, Elite Guard Mage, Dread Horde Twins, Obnixilus the Hate Twisted, Talzamare, Friend of Wolves, Two nice. Green Green White for 3-3 three, three Elf Scout. When Talzamare, Friend of Wolves, enters the battlefield, create Voja, Friend to Elves, a legendary 3-3 three, three Green and White Wolf Creature Token. Whenever a wolf enters the battlefield under your control, you gain three life, and that creature fights up to one target creature you don't control. So there was a card that came out, but it was kind of Kamigawi, the way it was worded. The legendary stuff, but now I get it, because everything's legendary. Plans on with all the legendary creatures are uncommons now. Artifacts. There's a there's an artifact that I like. I'm really hip to. Uh, it's honor worn shaku. shaku. Yeah. Yeah. Tap the legendary permanent you control to untap honor worn shaku. Tap it for combo with Spana. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Th that with Microsynth lattice out in in a super friends deck. Yeah, good. yeah, and throw Paradox Engine. <laughs> Goblin Assailant will start us off. Makeshift Battalion. Kazmina's Transmutation. Duskmantle Operative. Forced Landing. Vraska's Finisher. Sahili's Silverwing. Bloom Hulk. Charm Stray. Avon Eternal. Sunblade Angel. I'm surprised that I didn't die to that thing. I never saw not one of it. I mean, it's six drop, but still, it's a 3-3 three, three flying first strike vigilance and lifelink. Yeah. I thought for sure people were going to play that all over the place, and I was going to die to it left and right. <laughs> uh, Grateful Apparition. One and a white for a 1-1 one, one flyer. Uh, spirit, whenever it deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, proliferate. Not too bad. I like it. Yang Yangu, Wild Crafter, two and a green for three loyalty. Each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it has tap at one mana of any color. Minus mm. one. Put a one one counter on target creature. Mm. Krinko, 10 Street Kingpin. Two and a red for one two. Gabo. When he attacks, you put a one one counter on it. Then create a number of one one red goblin creature tokens equal to Krinko's power. Aggravated assault. Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Extra combat. Next pack. Do, 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 do. Somebody's being noisy. Gideon's Ooh. Sacrifice. Teferi's Time Twist. Grim Initiate. That one's not too bad. And especially limited standard format. It's a one drop. One one zombie warrior with first strike. And it dies a mass one. Not bad. Uh, return to nature. One and a green for an instant. Choose one. Nope. Destroy target artifact. Destroy target enchantment. Or exile target card from a graveyard. Naturalize? See yourself out. We've just found a replacement. Absolutely. <laughs> After all these years. Yeah, finally. That's pretty good. Mana Geode. It's a three drop artifact with an ETB Scry one. Tap had one mana of any color. Nice new grand arc. I like it. I mean, most of the other mana rocks are three drop anyway. 
that do the same thing. It's like, why not add another one that scries for you? Thunder Drake, Charm Stray, Vraska's Finisher, Heartfire, Watley's Raptor, hmm? Watley. Uh, it's a green and a white for a 2 3 with Vigilance. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, proliferates. Bolt Bend, three and a red for an instant. It costs three less to cast. If you control a creature with power four or greater, change the target of target spell or ability with a single target. Jaya, venerated fire mage, four and a red for five loyalty. If another red source you control would deal combat or deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals that much plus one to that permanent player instead. Minus two, and she deals two damage to any target. Not bad. Bio essence hydra. Three green and a blue for a 4-4 four, four Hydra Mutant with Trample. Bio Essence Hydra enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter on it for each loyalty counter on Planeswalkers you control. Oh, it gets better. <laughs> Whenever one or more loyalty counters are put on Planeswalkers you control, put that many plus one plus one counters on Bio Essence Hydra. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Super Friends just got themselves a nice beefy boy. Oh, we got a foil storm the citadel. Ooh, pretty. Four and a green for sorcery to a turn. Creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and gain whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker. Destroy target artifact or enchantment if any player controls. Not bad. Oof. Yeah. Oof. For real. Not bad. It really hurt the board. Mm hmm. It really can. Especially if you throw in, uh, well, I guess if you're throwing in Triumph of the Horde, you're just probably winning the game outright. So, <laughs> uh, Pouncing Links, uh, Sky Theater Strix, such a weird name, Goblin Assailant, Makeshift Battalion. Soren's Thirst, Crawl Stinger, Vampire Opportunist, Gateway Plaza, Arlen's Ward, or Arlen's Wolf, well, Wall of Runes. <clears throat> First time I saw this, I was like, I absolutely need this for Arcades. I like this a lot. It's one drop, blue, for a 0 4 wall with the vendor. When it enters the battlefield, scry one. Mm hmm. Let me stack those triggers, scry, and then draw. <laughs> as long as I got her kitties out. Vizier of the Scorpion. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Vizier of the Scorpion. Two and a black for a zombie wizard. That is a 1-1. One, one. When it enters the battlefield, amass one. Zombie tokens you control have death touch. That is really nice. I like it. Inner Planar Beacon. I like this. Now, story-wise, Inner Planar Beacon uh, Rao on Ravnica lit this motherfucking beacon, turned it on, and it attracts, it sends a signal all the multiverse to all the planeswalkers. Hey, come here. Emergency, come here now. They're attracted to it like moths to a flame. All the while, Bolist has the Immortal Sun on Ravica at the same time. So they're all like, <laughs> oh shit, we can't leave, what the fuck? And then Bolist is like, <laughs> slurps all their sparks out. Uh, it's a land that says whenever you cast a Planeswalker spell, you gain one life. And there's untapped. You can tap it for colorless mana, or you can pay one and tap, add two mana of different colors. Spend this mana only to cast Planeswalker spells. Kazmina, Enigmatic Mentor. Three to blue for five loyalty. Spells your opponent's cast that target a creature or Planeswalker you control cost two more to cast. <coughs> Minus two. Create a 2-2 two, two blue wizard creature token. Draw a card, then discard a card. How's that tickle your fancy? 
Silent Submersible. Two blue for a 2-3 vehicle. When it deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, draw a card for a crew cost of two. Not bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I like it. I like vehicles in general. I have always been a huge fan of them. And <laughs> it's funny enough, the only three vehicles we got this uh, this set are red, white, and blue. Which my first my first Shu Yin deck was a vehicle deck. Hmm. It was red, white, and blue, and I called it American Muscle, made in China. Nice. Yeah. That was good flavor. I like it. I thought it was funny. Uh, Goblin Assault Team will start us off. Pouncing Lynx. Go ahead and do that. There we go. Uh, Sky Theater Strix. Lazatep Behemoth. Return to Nature. Defiant Strike. Erratic Visionary. Guild Globe, Chandra's Pyro Helix, Unlikely Aid, Chandra's Triumph, one in red for an instant, deals three damage to target creature, planeswalker, and opponent controls. Chandra's Triumph deals five damage to that permanent instead if you control Chandra Planeswalker. Devouring Hel Hellion, two in a red for a 2 2 Hellion. As it enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice any number of creatures and or planeswalkers. If you do, it enters with twice that many plus one plus one counters on it. That's pretty nuts. Kiora Behemoth Becketer. Two and the green, blue for seven and blah, blah, blah. We already know what that one does. Casualties of War is our rare. Two and black, black, green, green for a sorcery. Choose one or more. Destroy target artifact and or destroy target creature and or destroy target enchantment and or destroy target land and yeah. or destroy target planeswalker. I'm dead serious. Yeah. <laughs> that ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Yeah, it definitely got us in two headed giant today. It was very sad. <laughs> Very, very sad. Especially since I only had three lands and I was being I was being mana screwed bad. And dude was like, I'm gonna blow up one of your islands and I'm like, Oh, kick a guy when he's down. Only douchebags do that. And he's like <laughs> Sarah's like, Hey now, I'm like, Hey, only douchebags blow up lands in limited format. Prove me wrong. And the dude that did it said, Well, I can't, so you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Turret Ogre will start us off. Ironclad Crovad, Crovod, Ashiok Sculptor, New Horizons, Tithe Bear Giant, Arlen's Wolf, Wall of Runes, Divine Arrow, Prismite, Lazatet Plating. Oops, Lazatet Plating goes over here. Heartwarming Redemption, two red and a white for an instant. Discard all cards in your hand, then draw that many cards plus one. You gain life equal to the number of cards in your hand. Boros needed that so bad. So bad. The Wanderer, three and a white for a uh, thing that does a thing. Uh, Plain White Celebration, five and two green for a sorcery. You choose four, you may choose the same mode more than once. Create a 2 2 citizen creature with token that is all colors. Uh, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Proliferate, or you gain four life. Seems really good, I think. And we got a foil demolish. Three and a red for a destroy target artifact or land. It's kind of a classic, I think. Last pack of this particular pile we're two-thirds of the way done with the first box oh my goodness Teo's light shield no escape spark reaper courage in crisis thunder drake charm stray Braska's finisher 
Heartfire, Pollen Bright Druid, Guild Globe, Leyline Prowler, Rescuer Sphinx, Deven, Dovin's Veto. So that's three uncommons that was not a Planeswalker, so we got a rare Planeswalker. Uh oh. Uh, Dovin's Veto, though, is pretty good. Blue White for an instant. The spell can't be countered. Counter target non creature spell. Yeah. A Johnny the Great Hearted. Two green white for five loyalty. Creatures you control have vigilance. Uptick by one. You gain three life. Minus two. Put a one one counter on each creature you control and a loyalty counter on each other planeswalker you control. Yeah. Seems pretty good. <clears throat> Teo's Light Shield. No escape. Return to nature. Kaya's ghost form. Erotic visionary. Guild globe. Chandra's fire helix. Unlikely aid. Wanderer's strike. Heart fire. Marwu. Mowu. Loyal champion. Three and a green for a three three. Legend many plus one. One one counters are placed on it instead. Price of betrayal. Uh. Move up to five counters from target artifact creature planeswalker and opponent for one black. Not bad. Dovin, hand of control, two and uh, Zorius for five loyalty. Artifact, instant, and sorcery spells your opponent's cast cost one more to cast. Minus one. Until your next turn, permit all damage that would be dealt to and dealt by target permanent and opponent controls. It's kind of weird. Karn's Bastion, another one. Dig it. I really do like that proliferate on the land. They had I, I figured they had to there's gonna have to do something like that. So many planeswalkers. Blind Black Shriek Diver, Centaur Nurture, Demolish, Blazatep Reaver, Defiant Strike, Erratic Visionary, Merfolk Skydiver, Pledge of Unity, Davriel Rat, Rogue Shadow Mage, and another mobilized district. The Merfolk Skydiver, sorry. Uh, Merfolk Skydiver is this card right here. I'll let you read it. I'm trying to get off my feet. <laughs> uh, Battlefield Promotion, Sky Theater Strix, Blind Blast, Loxodon Sergeant, Forced Landing, Soren's Thirst, Aboreal Grazer, Herald of the Dread Horde, Prismite, Giant Growth, D Spark, Sunblade Angel, Interplanar Beacon, Tamayo, Collector of Tales, for. Oh, there's Voja, Friend of Elves. We'll go ahead and stash this over here with this since uh, we've got the dude that does that. You need that? You're welcome. <laughs> I've already got. At least one in the other file. So that's all I need. And I'm sure I will pull more. I want another that one. You're going to have to be more specific than that. <laughs> On Crop Invader. <laughs> Bulwark Giant. Vampire <laughs> Opportunist. Steady Aim. Burning Prophet. Obnix Alyssa's Cruelty. Jaya's Greeting. Totally Lost. Centaur Nurturer. Iron Bully. Liliana's Triumph. Engrath's Rampage. Uh, that's black and red. Uh, choose one. Target player sacrifices an artifact or a creature or a planeswalker. Uh, Vraska, Swarm's Eminence. Two and Golgari, Golgari. Five. And every creature you control with Death Touch deals damage to a player. Deals damage. Combat damage. Deals damage to a player or planeswalker. Put a 1 1 counter on that creature. Yeah, I was like, I, I know a few tricks that that can get out of hand with. <laughs> you showed me those tricks. <laughs> uh, minus two, create a one-one black assassin creature token with death touch, and whenever this creature deals damage to a planeswalker, destroy that planeswalker. Yeah, Narset's reversal, 
blue blue for an instant. Copy target instant or sorcery spell. Then return it to its owner's hand. You may choose new targets for the copy. Ooh, <laughs> beautiful card. Yeah, it's it's pretty nifty. It's pretty nice. Is it half? It's has Great very it has, <laughs> it has a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of people were like, eh, and a lot of people were like, yeah. Uh-huh. It's it's about fifty fifty between that which just surprised me. Yeah. I thought more people would be for it, you know. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Good. Crush descent. Chain whip cyclops. Tithe breaker giant. Vivian's grizzly. Pollen Bright Druid, Guild Globe, Chandra's Pyrohelix, Davriel's Shadow Mage, Wanderer's Strike, Relentless Advance, Augur of Bolus, Lazatet Plating, Tenth District Legionnaire, Nisa, who shakes the world as a rare. Three and two green for five loyalty. Whenever you tap a forest for mana, add an additional green. Up oh. Pick by one. Put three plus one plus one counters on up on up to one target non-creature land you control. Untap it. It becomes a zero zero elemental creature token with vigilance and haste. That's still a land. Minus eight. You get an emblem with lands you control have indestructible. <laughs> Search your library for any number of forest cards. Put them on the battlefield tab. Then shuffle your library. Well then. Yeah, <laughs> I I just don't know where. I, obviously, the elves would want the static ability, but honestly, Omnath screams he wants this more than the elves because my lands are now elementals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, maybe. If I pull a second one, then hey, they both get it. <laughs> Teferi's Time Twist. Uh, I'm going to start naming that Teferi's Titty Twister. That's serious. <laughs> uh, on Crop Invader, Bulwark Giant, Crush Descent, Crunch Wrangler, Tithe Giant, the Tithe Breaker Giant, Divine Arrow, Prismite, Spark Harvest, uh, One Drop. Sorcery. As an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature or pay three to black. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. Not bad. Domri's Ambush. Red and a green for a sorcery. Put a 1 1 counter on target creature you control. Then that creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker you don't control. Not bad. Jace's Triumph. Two to blue for a sorcery. Draw two cards. If you control Jace planeswalker, draw three cards instead. Flux Channeler, two and a blue for two two human wizard. Whenever you cast an eye creature spell, proliferate. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Wow, Storm Conduit. There's an infinite combo with this guy in standard. Oh yeah? Yeah. His static ability. It's with this his static ability. He costs two blue and a red for full loyalty. Static ability says whenever you cast or copy. An instant or sorcery spell. Rouse Storm Conduit deals one damage to target creature or to target opponent or planeswalker. You uptick scry one. By you uptick by two. Minus two. Now it says whenever you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. So you get say opt. And Expansion Explosion, which is the red-blue split card in Standard right now. The the two-drop hybrid is you copy uh, a spell. So you cast, uh, you downtick. Uh, I guess I guess if you downtick, you just cast a copy spell and then cast another copy. And then you copy the copy, and then you copy that copy, and you copy, 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 copy the copy, copy, copy. You copy? That's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Whoa! I got a foil! God Eternal Bantu! Three and two black. Nice. For five, six, 
legendary creature zombie god with menace. When God Eternal Bantu enters the battlefield, sacrifice any number of other permanents. Permanents, Joey Moss. That includes lands. <laughs> then draw that many cards. When God Eternal Bantu dies or is put into exile from the battlefield, you may put it into its owner's library third from the top. Woo! I'm going to need one of those for my uh, that, <laughs> Yeah, I was like, all right, yeah, that is super gross. I love it. And it's foil in the same pack with a row. That was, that was a nice pack right there. Man. God. Yeah, buddy. The blue one was, or the green one, I've seen. Uh, these are blue. Yeah, yeah, the green one's nice. The red one is really nice, too. Ilharg. The blue one is spectacular. The white one, they're all, all of them are really fucking good. They're printing a bunch of red zombies in this set. Yeah, it's Grix's zombies in this set. That's what it's all about. War Screecher will start us off. Teferi's Titty Twister. Oncrop Invader, Gri Vivian's Grizzly, Spark Creeper, Wanderer Strike, Heartfire, Mana Geode, Polymbrite Druid, Davriel Shadow Fugue, Dread Malkin. It's a one black for a one one zombie cat with menace. Pay two and a black, sacrifice another creature or planeswalker, put two plus one plus one counters on Dread Malkin. That thing looks ugly as all oh, get up. Ugin's Conjurant. Pay X. That's its mana cost. Just X. It enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. Huh. If damage would be dealt to Ugin's Conjurant while it has a plus one plus one counter on it, prevent that damage and remove that many one one counters from Ugin's Conjurant. It's weird. It is. I don't like it. Kaya, Bane of the Dead. Three and Orzov, Orzov, Orzov. For seven loyalty, your opponents and permits your opponents control with hexproof can be the target spells and abilities you control as though they didn't have hexproof. Minus three, exile target creature. Finale of Glory, X and white, white. For sorcery, create X, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have the white one. X, create X22 two, two white soldier creature tokens with vigilance. If X is 10 or more, also create 4-4 four, four X, create X 4-4 four, four white angel creature tokens of flying vigilance. Why can I not speak? But Also, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I wouldn't mind using that in, uh, in the ring. Yeah. You'd have definitely thought it'd have been like, instead, make them this. No, it's and create these. <laughs> yeah, definitely. What was was thinking? Uh, Goblin Assault Team, Pouncing Lynx, Sky Theater, Strix, Courage and Crisis, Street Diver, Ward Scale Crocodile, Spark Harvest, Thundering Ceratok, The Hairy Stone Blades, uh, Chandra's Triumph, Tyrant Scorn, Bond of Flourishing. Domri, Anarch of Bullets, which is you control, get plus one, plus zero. Plus one, add red or green to your mana pool. Creature spells you cast this turn can't be countered. Minus two, target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. And we got a foil vampire opportunist. It's one in a black for a two one vampire. Pay six in a black. Each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. This is why I've never read it the entire time because it's a common. And I was just like, Vampire Opportunist. It's so bad, not worth reading. But this one's foil, so I now have to. <laughs> <laughs> Invading Manicore, Bulwark Giant. Hmm. I like the flavor text on Bulwark Giant. Versus a five and a white for a three six giant soldier. So this is when it enters the battlefield, gain five life. It's a female giant. The flavor text, though, 
Gideon says, Where did she come from? More importantly, are there more like her? <laughs> this is so funny. Yes. Cures Dambreaker. Raging Crunch, Crunch, Crunch. Yes. Charity Extractor. Primordial Worm. Lazatet Behemoth. Spellgorger Weird. Temple the Statue. Herald of the Dreadmoor, Dread Horde. Rubble Belt Rioters. One in a green and a red. For a 0 4 human berserker with haste. Whenever Rubble Belt Rioters attacks, it gets plus X plus 0 until in the turn where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. Okay then. Rally of Wings. One in a white for an instant. Untap all creatures you control. Creatures you control with flying get plus two, plus two into a turn. That's not too sad. Hwatly! The Sun's Heart. Two in Selesnia. For seven loyalty. Each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Minus three. You gain life equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control. Meh. Ravnica at war. Three and a white for sorcery. Exile all multicolored permanents. Pretty gross. Yeah. Especially considering how many planeswalkers are multicolored. How many commanders? Well, I guess commanders doesn't really matter. Those are like really troublesome, I guess. Uh, uprising, or po the rising populace. Blah. What the fuck? Stealth mission. Goblin assault team. Dusk metal operative. Forced landing. Chandra's Pyro Helix. Davriel's Shadow Fugue. Wanderer Strike. Relentless Advance. Enforcer Griffin. Rouse Outburst. Bolt Bend, Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage, The Elder Spell. Oh, yeah. This is juiciness. Black, black for a sorcery. Destroy any number of target planeswalkers. Choose a planeswalker you control. Destroyed this way. Dang it. Strong. It'd have been, it would have been strong. At one loyalty counter for each planeswalker destroyed this way. Yeah, that's two makes it what the beep? Yeah, two mana. You can for two mana exactly. You can just keep pooping out a bunch of little planeswalkers, poop a big one into the game, pop its ult, no problem. Well, in standard right now, we got Jace Cunning Castaway, which I actually have a I'm copy really of. Honest. No, 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 no. Oh. Jace Cunning Castaway and Nicol Bolas, the Dragon God, the new one in this set. He says his static ability says he has all activated abilities, all planeswalkers on the battlefield. Hmm. You get him and any anybody has a Jace Cunning Castaway. Jace's down tick is make a non legendary version or make two non legendary versions of yourself. Of, of Jace. That's what Jace says. But what Bolas has that ability, so it says make two non legendary versions of Bolas. Mm -mm -mm. And then you do that with those. <laughs> and then with those, <laughs> you have infinite Boluses then. In standard, Ashiok Skulker will start us off. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> Bolus is nuts, man. I'm the God Barrow. Rising Populace. Stealth Mission. He's probably the one that, out of this whole case, I'll probably only pull one of him. Yeah. Uh, Charity Extractor. Primordial Worm. Wall of Runes. Divine Arrow. Prismite. Spark Harvest. Ajani's Pride Mate, Mayhem Devil, Firemind Vessel, 
Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord. Two white, black for four loyalty. Static ability says, as long as it's your turn, creatures and planeswalkers you control have lifelink. Plus two. Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord, deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. Minus X, return target creature card with converted mana cost X or, or re, with converted mana cost X from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature is a vampire in addition to its other types. Not bad. I like it. I like the fact that it gives your planeswalkers lifelink. But only during your turn. Last pack of the first box. Dun, dun, dun. Goblin Assailant. We'll start us off with this. Loxodon Sergeant. Dusk Mantle Operative. Snail, snare Spinner. Obnixilis' Cruelty. Jaya's Greeting. Totally Lost. Centaur Nurturer. Iron Bully. Erratic Visionary. Bond of Passion. Four, two red for sorcery. I don't like this card. Six drop. For sorcery. Gain control target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature. It gains haste until end of turn. Bond of Passion deals two damage to any other target. Now, I could do that for four mana with Act of Treason and a Shock. Yeah. Why would why would I pay six for this this is absolute garbage? Engrath's Rampage. God Pharaoh's statue. Six drop legendary artifact. Spells your opponent's cast cost two more to cast at the beginning of your end step. Each opponent loses one life. Woo! To Fairy Time Raveler, that's what I'm talking about. One white and a blue for four loyalty. Static ability, each opponent can cast spells only any time they could cast the sorcery. Mm. Very strong. Uptick by one. Until your next turn, you may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. Minus three. Return up to one target artifact, creature, or enchantment to its owner's hand. Draw a card. That is nice. Very mm -hmm. nice pool. I call dibs on your... Extra that you get. <laughs> That's nice. Well, that nice is last pack crack. Yeah, say that was very nice. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the end of box one. I'm gonna end the video right here. <clears throat> uh, when I get onto, I'm only gonna do one box per video, and I may honestly break the other boxes down. That was a whole lot of standing on my feet. Oh my god, but. <laughs> Until next time, GG.